Hi, my name is Florence. I'm the co-founder of Chrysalix Technologies, and we want to offer sustainable solutions to environmental problems. In Europe, only around 50% of waste wood is currently recycled, and across the globe, recycling rates are even lower. Alone in the EU and US, around 100 million tons of waste wood remain unrecycled every year. This is mainly due to heavy metal containing preservatives, but also paints and other contaminants that make this type of wood non-recyclable. As a result, it's sent to landfill or incineration, where its economic value is largely lost. At Imperial College, we've created a solution to this problem. We've developed a Bioflex solvent process that uses this unwanted waste wood as a very cheap raw material to produce clean and low-cost chemicals, materials and fuels. An inexpensive and recyclable liquid salt separates the main components of the wood, which are lignin and cellulose. These can then be turned into final products, such as bioplastics and carbon fibers. At the same time, we can extract and recover the heavy metals that are present in this wood. Like this, we can create value from an unwanted waste while offering a more cost-effective route to bioderived products. There are a few technologies under development in the biorefining sector. Some of these are running demonstration plants or even first commercial plants. However, they almost exclusively rely on the use of agricultural residues. We outperform them with a more effective process that can make use of even highly recalcitrant softwoods. Furthermore, the Bioflex process offers unprecedented flexibility as it can use different types of materials in a one-size-fits-all process. This is especially important if one raw material is not available all year round in one given location. Now, around 50% of the total production cost of biodrive products is usually the feedstock. Therefore, our ability to use an unwanted waste gives us a major cost advantage. Furthermore, through the uh, beneficial properties of the ionic liquids that we're using as solvents, we can also offer lower capital and operating costs than our compet uh, competitors. This technology was originally developed by our academic team at Imperial College. Combined, our founding team has spent over 15 years developing this process. So far, we've filed three patents and have been recognized in various business idea competitions as well as by Forbes 30 Under 30. We've signed an MOU with SCA, who's looking for a new use of their 1 million tons of sawdust produced every year. But we're not completely there yet. We're currently working towards the blueprint of our pilot plant, for which we're looking for investment of around half a million pounds. This would allow us to hire the necessary engineering team to reach this next milestone. In 10 years' time, our goal is to have converted 1 million tons of waste wood. To achieve this, we ask for your support so we can enable future generations to live sustainably in a clean world. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So who are your customers actually and how do you approach them? Um, so we are intending to sell the technology as a licensing model together with maybe um, consulting. Um, so our direct customers would be either the currently paper and pulp industry that wants to diversify, but also um, recycling companies that want to offer more recycling options for the currently non-recyclable wood waste. Um, we, at the moment, we approach them by directly getting in touch with them. Eventually, um, we're hoping to um, approach them through trade shows, um, word of mouth, success stories, relevant consortia, etc. So which market are we planning to enter first? Or just global market entry? Um, so at the moment, we're focusing on Europe because um, recycling is a big thing here, um, which is not the case in other geographies. Um, the oh, Scandinavia, Finland, Sweden, where there is a lot of forestry industry, where the, the government is actively pursuing this bioeconomy. Um, that's a very important market for us. But at the moment, we're based in the UK, so that's where we're currently starting. Thank you. And how do you charge for it? You know, like, what is the sort of the business model around it? Um, so we've considered different business models. At the moment, what we're targeting is, as I mentioned, the licensing model, where the licensing fee would be uh, um, depending on the tonnage that goes through the plant. Um, we haven't quite refined it. Would it be paid up front or would it be like as you go along? But we do have IP protection, so there is um, the need for a company to operate with a license. Yeah, because I'm assuming as well you can learn a lot from these sort of pilots that you have now as well, right? On how you could charge for it, I presume. 
Yes, so um, one of the next things we want to do is actually build a consortium and then with a potential customer find out what would be a suitable pricing strategy for them as well. So we imagine that a larger company would maybe want to pay up front while smaller companies would probably have want to have lower upfront costs and more costs that are distributed over a longer time horizon. Right, cool, thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you all for a good pitch.